Did I see that your new album has over 700,000 streams? Oh yeah. That's unbelievable, dude. That is, that is what? pretty. What? 700,000 I heard you. <laughs> so I don't, think you know, I don't think you know what the word what means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now money ain't really my concept. Cash in the bank don't really your conscience. Feeling what you think don't help you prosper. Acting brand new won't win you Oscars. Whoa, Papa said, boy, act proper. And I let God be my doctor. Uh, you can make all the right calls. Yeah, you can let all the light fall. Yeah, I'm a real nigga. Flip bills just to feel biggie. I got little pictures. I got bigger dreams hanging off a mezzanine, popping out of magazines. I can't deal with you. Food for thought in a meal with you. It's a real issue. Nigga, cry wild when you drive by. I need a real you like Sixers, hello, happy Thursday. Welcome to a very exciting episode. A guest episode. Keep left at the fork. We got Siri. <laughs> and we got a local food video. Headed to the West Town area right now to snag our guest. Go to the Mart, get some food. So come along. Very excited for this one. Let's we get it. Grown man had you from abandonment. You red man set you from a handsome. One hazardous. Egos gonna die, humility rise up and now manage it. All of the dread I took from my head and put my arm inside your soul. I had to, I had to, I had to, I had to. Had to. Don't no put me in on the loop. That shit and potpourri. Got so many clips don't come for me. I take shots, don't pump for me. Love myself so comfortably. Be on my own, that's company. So I ask you, don't try and fuck up my vibe, nigga. I'm riding. Yeah, my life going through some changes. You've arrived at your destination. Everybody on the same shit. They tell me it just takes a little patience. Should we go straight to the food or this is like some of the random stuff that you can just grab. Man, look at that. Also have like that different. You never had Spam? You never had it. So when I was in uh, Hawaii a couple years ago, I had that Spam McMuffin at McDonald's. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we got a whole bunch of bento boxes from the H Mart. We've got one of our favorites in the game, Mr. Solo Sam in the back. So let's feast, let's do it. Acquired jump cut. Another day, another Corey Wagner second angle. Alright, this is gonna be a tough one. I did not read the menu, so I have honestly no clue what is on here. I know rice, I'm familiar with rice. I know that that's vegetables. <laughs> I know we got shaved carrots, there's probably some cabbage and maybe spinach, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then over here, this is what, beef short ribs? Sure that? is, yeah. And then this looks like more, I don't know what that is. Is it, is it noodles? Is, is it noodles? noodles? Yep. Yeah. That's, that's noodles? noodles? Okay, that's chop che. That's chop che, bro. I there didn't you go. know about, I never even heard of the word chop che. Mm. We're learning. Well, there we go, that's the food we got. Oh yeah, also there's, boom, dumplings. This may be gonna be my favorite part. I effing love dumplings. Those look you, perfectly you, fried. You're gonna love the ribs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's how you're gonna love the ribs. Boom, my kids. Meat guy all day. You got chicken in yours, right? Yeah, I got chicken in mine. Awesome. So Sam got chicken. Got chopsticks too, bro. I know. They knew I ain't no gringo, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheer oh, Cheers to you. Oh, Cheers, kimchi. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, good sir. Oh my god. Oh, so there's like a bone in here, though. Right. Yeah, watch out for that. Oh, you damn. The chip in the okay, yeah, my second tube about to be You don't one. even need the chopsticks. This is just like a finger food. Oh my god, it's so good. No, this is tasty. Mm. These are translucent noodles, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> good word. You can see through them. That's weird. Mm -hmm. I think I think you'll rock with them. They got a nice sauce on them. Oh, yeah, they do. They look like little worms, huh? Right. Look at these little worms, guys. They're like, shut up. So Solo Sam, I'm not sure, I imagine a lot of you guys, but we have a lot of new fans since the last time we had him on the show. Mm -hmm. We've had him on a previous episode. We've had him on the vlog channel. We went and vlogged one of his album release parties at this really, really cool barber shop that we did it at. It was so awesome. And then um, he also was featured in a vlog I did from his most recent album release that was on my channel. Mm -hmm. We would have done it on Corey and Sean, but Sean was out of town for to see his family or something. <laughs> he cares about his family. Cares what a fun family. negative way to put that. <laughs> I think it should be working now because you have all your minutes there. And then, then the calls 
our, it's empty in there, and then if you need to call anybody, you can just go right in the phone book and call. They told me he's the best one here, so yeah. not to not to brag, but everyone's real nice here. So Sam, he's everything. He's a musician. Yep. He's now a uh, uh, what would you call? He's really a food a, show host. He's a food show host. Mm -hmm. He also is a previously a football player. Yeah, true. Um, he's also a gentleman. He's one of the world's nicest people and most fun people to be around. That's true. So excited you're here. So excited to be able to show you guys clips from everything Corey said, but you know, I've known about your music for eight years now, always been a fan, but Principles to Dine By is something I was so amped on. Yeah. Overly commenting to you probably online. You're like, all right, dude, take it down a notch. <laughs> no, I loved it. I'm like, yo, run it up. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. That's a good amount, but you know, it's gonna be a spicy kick. Isn't everybody a little lactose intolerant? Slightly, right? We all care when it comes to milk, but to pizza, you don't care. I don't care. We don't care. Living life, you gotta do what you gotta do. Garlic seasoning on top. These are like loaded. This is like, I feel like my version, my favorite version of loaded fries. Is it only on YouTube? For now. Yeah, mm -hmm. for now. Until, yeah. until HBO Max picks it up. That's no, right. I'm hoping, yeah. I'm hoping. So it's a cooking show. Mm -hmm. Principles to dine by. Mm -hmm. All kinds of awesome, like, I'd say really unique food items, like not your standard boring, like, hey, how to cook the perfect burger. Yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> like like how, our videos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like the last time we did a cooking video. Pow. Oh! Kimchi fries just dropped. So that's, we, that's episode two. And then when this comes out, episode three will be out. Yeah. A lot of the recipes are based on things people have seen me cook mm -hmm. over the past years that they showed interest in. Yeah. That are personally staples that I've cooked for people that I know and that know me. So they have memories attached to them, I would say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, That's amazing. All great food does. It, it really does. It really does. And yeah. real quick, I want to shout out somebody. Mm. Patrick Wilson oh. is his name. He is a fan of Number Six with Cheese and has been a solo Sam supporter ever since we did our first collab. Yo, yeah, that's, that's incredible. What's up, dude? Patrick Wilson. Wilson. And he constantly comments, shows, and one day I was like, Pat, how do, how do I know you, man? Are you a friend a friend of mine's dad or something? And he's like, nah, the number six cheese guy. Wow. Me, I listen Bro. to the music, so. Pat, if you're watching this, man, shout out to you, bro. Yeah, dude. Yo, that's so dope. Shout out Pat Wilson. Yeah, that's amazing. Really, really dope dude who's like always showing support in any way that he can, you know. Good dude, but that came from the number six with cheese. You're welcome. You see how this works, fans? It's, it's it, a clap. If you guys go out and you support the hell out of Solo Sam, you might be getting a shout out the next time we have an episode. <laughs> that's true. That's a good point. This is good motivation yeah. for you, Freak. It Freech. might be the move. Yeah. That's awesome. So, then you also just had an album come out, mm -hmm. which was Principles to Die By. Which Principles is brilliant, by the, right. by the way. Right, that's just such great branding. The, yeah, yeah, dude. You got that's what I'm saying, you gotta put it like that. Um, yeah, the album, I love it. You know, it's an album kind of like post-COVID vibes mm -hmm. in the sense of the title will make you think it's an album about me telling you how to live. Right. But the album is truly about me, you know, the dying of what is like ego death. The okay. things I used to fear and overcoming that in the grieving process through overcoming your old self dying, mm. really. The person you were before and the new person. Well, your life's so pretty, deep. I'm just, yeah, dude. I'm just like, oh, cool, man. So I this white dick, rice is pretty good. I make, I, I make <laughs> dick jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Corey can write one hell of a dick joke. No, that's incredible, though. Was it your album before this one where you released a cookbook with it? Yes, please. Play so I have that cookbook. Played it. And I just wore my plated shirt over the weekend. You did. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to say that because I want people to know this isn't just like some newfangled thing where he was like, maybe I'll try a cooking show. Mm. Food has always been so important to you and you're yeah. passionate about it. But the fact that, and Corey was raving when that was like your plan. He's like, do you hear what Soul Sam did? Oh, He's got so a cookbook fun. with his album. And then now you've got a web. <laughs> I, what are you going to do for the next one, dude? Are right? you going to invent a new food? Like you got to, you got to keep might, going up. We might. Open a restaurant. We might open a <laughs> restaurant. Okay. Can we get to here first? Can we get like 10% off? We'll be the first ones to review course, it. Mm -hmm. If you watch the Solo Sam vlog from his most recent album release, I still have the cookbook. I brought it out and featured it mm -hmm. in the beginning of the episode. So cool. Yeah. We haven't even talked about this food, by the way. This beef short rib is really good. It's dope. very good. Mm -hmm. I love the way the little, they're almost like little riblets. Yeah. This almost looks mm -hmm. like a little, uh, it's like a, a book. This is the spine of the book mm -hmm. here. This is, you guys, check out this little meat book right here mm -hmm. if you guys want to try this. How's the chicken back there? Is it fire? It's fire. I've never had this. 
It kind of has the same marinade they put on the bulgogi, which is like the rib. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, I never knew how to say that word. Mm -hmm. Bulgogi? Bulgogi? Mm -hmm. I've seen it spelled, and I'm too embarrassed to order it because I don't want to sound like a gringo. It's like the L kind of <laughs> silent, but it's like bulgogi. Yeah, I thought it was beluga. But I, <laughs> like a beluga like, whale? Yeah, like a, like a whale. Yeah, like bul beluga meat. Mm -hmm. Dude, give me some of that beluga, dude. Deep fried? That was my first H Mart, H -Mart experience. Yeah. Also my first, what are these box, bento boxes? Mm -hmm. This is really? also my first, nice. never even, yeah, never had one. We love that for you. This was what I loved as a kid. I didn't like when my food touched. Me too. Mm -hmm. So I really loved like containers. Remember those plates when we were growing up? Mm -hmm. We have the big, the, the the bottom one was the biggest one, and then there were like two or three little sections for like the broccoli or the mashed potatoes. I was obsessed with those. Yeah, that way I could take all the broccoli, keep it over there, and right. I don't have to eat it. And exactly. I feel like that's done like purposely because all these things have varying flavor, mm -hmm. but sometimes it helps to get a little bite of whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Also, you could see those featured in like a Hungry Man dinner, mm -hmm. <laughs> which we were a big TV dinner family. God damn, this is, even these onions are good. See, I was telling you like, You'll never know until you like go to H Mart and you're like, oh. Yeah. That place is awesome. I've been really obsessed with grocery stores that are like normally outside my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Like I'm always running around. So Jewel and Mariano's or Target, I'm just like, I want to get in and out as fast as possible. Yeah. I've really taken a step back lately and like tried to find places that have way more culture and way more fun stuff. Cause I'm sick of just getting like 80, 20 ground beef, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, trying to diversify. So yeah. going in there was really cool. You get to a point where you're like, I've had so much of the same stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in my mid thirties Stuff now. like this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> stuff like this. You're like, oh yeah, I don't get to have this regularly and it's good. This yeah. is a new thing that I could come get like, if I was gonna go get a burger from someplace, well, I'll go to H Mart and just get like a, a box to go. I'm so excited to just explore in that place sometime, walk around and just see what they got. Yeah, that's yeah. so unique. Filming today, but like another time when I can just take my time in there, I'd be in there for an hour. Yeah. I totally forgot I got dumplings up here. Oh, shit. How hell am I doing? doing? Have you tried Sixer sauce yet? The, oh, your sauce? The number six with cheese hot sauce. No. Would you like to try some? Yeah. <laughs> All right, would you like mild or spicy? Um, spicy. Okay, do that's, the, that's the right answer. Yeah, I should get to keep it. You do. I have a fresh <laughs> bottle. We have a fresh bottle for you, but this is the this is our car sauce. Take that for a test drive. Mm, I'm straight up. Hold on. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna have some. Oh yeah, this is nice. It's got like that habanero. Right. Heat. Good little kick. Good sweet. kick. Sweet. Some yeah. sweetness. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Mm -hmm. We're all about the sweet heat. Yeah. You gotta have both. Oh yeah. Got Give to me this. Mm -hmm. It was good hot sauce, guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Really Thank you. So a dumpling like this, though, that's kind of like what I love to have like the hot sauces with. Like mm -hmm. when I have food like this, I mean anything deep fried. Marinate. And I'm gonna do the thing we've been doing on our Friday episodes, where you take a little bite. I was gonna ask if you're gonna do that. And dip it in, and then you can you well, pour it in. It's these like are a, so well made that they're not. Yeah, like, there's not much space. You know how normally you get a frozen food thing; they're yeah. just empty. Used to um, American food where they keep a lot of air in there and make it look bigger than it it's is. It's like a, a bag of Lay's potato yeah. chips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go. But it does kind of still sit in there. Look at that. Oh, I can see it filling in the uh, just filled in the crevices. Wow, this that's is just gonna be too mm -hmm. much heat. That's gonna get you. Oh my god, I'm freaking stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot, bro. Yeah, you should have known that was coming. <laughs> Did I see that your new album has over 700,000 streams? Oh yeah, that's unbelievable, dude. That is that is what? Pretty... 700,000. I heard you. <laughs> so I don't think you know, I don't think you know what the word what means. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Oh yeah, you haven't you haven't tried your Thai tea, tea yet. Thai tea. I feel like you're gonna really like it. I don't I'm think so. <laughs> I don't. I think I two different takes. I have no I reason do behind it. Do you like orange soda? Oh, it's like orange soda. Of yeah, course. Gross. Who loves orange soda? <laughs> Soda. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you're gonna you're gonna drink it and be like, oh, this is. I mean, I've never had. I fight people on the I'm spot who don't like. I don't know why I'm soda. going so hard for them. I've never had that drink. Ooh. <laughs> I'm very excited. It's got yellow number six. Same stuff they used to make Ma Mountain Dew. Is it true? How do you know that? <laughs> yeah, it's number six with cheese. Mm. Number six with cheese. I know all six facts. Whoa. You like it? Contains milk and soya. Sure tastes like it. Ooh, that it sounds like a horrible though? combo. Imagine a an orange creamsicle. I like it. Oh yeah, that's hidden. That's that's good. That's good. Mixed with sun kissed. I like that. I like that. 
and almost like the foam of a latte. <laughs> also, that's the best crisp, way. Right? It's crisp, it's refreshing, but there's like a fruity creaminess to it that you don't yeah. get in American soda pops. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> unless this you is have good. A, unless you have a vanilla cream soda or an orange soda. Which True. I love those. True. Well, Here's help the, me grow my tooth back. I don't. I can't actually read most of the can, mm. but I don't think so. Oh, that's a shame. But here's the side. This is from Thailand. Here's the side that I couldn't read. But uh, I was like, dude, Sam, which one of these should I get? And he like took me to the section. He's like, here's all these crazy teas. So I got this one. So do you like it though? I'm very glad I got it. That was a great suggestion. So wait, how did the two? What happened? Like. So Corey's parents had sex. Oh, how my then, tooth? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant how was he born? Sorry, oh, my yeah. bad. <laughs> Bro, can't you shut up? I'm busy. They happened two different times. One, I was riding home from a comedy show. I landed tooth first <clears> off <throat> my bike and just jacked it all up the day before we had, or was it two days before? It was the night before we had a huge sponsorship sh video shoot. Like our biggest amount of money that we had gotten in probably like three or four years. Mm -hmm. And so that was annoying, but I did get it fixed before the shoot, which was nice. Then this weekend I was eating leftover pizza and I'm eating, I'm like, dang bro, this is some crunchy ass crust. God <laughs> damn, who, what is this, burnt or something? <laughs> and then I saw my reflection in my monitor and my tooth was missing. I was like, I was just chewing my tooth. I was just chewing my tooth. Oh, no. God. So somehow that pizza took the cap the, off or whatever it was. So so you gotta get it fixed again? I gotta go, I got an appointment next uh, well, like so Monday or Tuesday. You can do at home at this point. Bro, yeah, right? do it yourself. You think I'm gonna look good with an at home tooth, bro? <laughs> Yo, you never know, you never know. <laughs> bro, you never you know. Never Dude, know. he had so much confidence in you <laughs> that you could somehow use a <laughs> fix your tooth kit from oh Amazon God. Prime, God. same day like, delivery. Put, put this in the back, pour it there, and just lean back. Bro, I ended up looking like the Mad Magazine kid. Yeah, all right, put the enamel on the radiator for 30 seconds, let it kind of loosen up. No. This is the whole reason I married my wife is so that I have dental insurance and don't have to worry about molding my <laughs> own tooth out of it. For moments like bro. this, yeah. dude. That's why you get married. You gotta be money hungry in the right way. Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to go I get married for insurance. Yeah, yeah, man. I want a Play-Doh and white crayon dust that I gotta <laughs> mold together and form a tooth. No thanks, man. I'll let the dental professionals handle this. Yeah, that's yeah. probably the right thing. Alright, before I forget, this is for me and Corey. Yeah. And in turn, Chef Iron Mike. Your own fresh bottle of the hotter Sixer sauce. Let's go. Do you have a bottle of regular both. too? Do you want both? Yeah, oh yeah. I didn't know if you wanted both. Some people are real hotheads and they don't want the mild. This one, I actually surprisingly, because my wife loves hot stuff, mm -hmm. and she said she likes this better because the, she likes the flavor more of that. I have a lot of friends that like this one way, way better. I like that better because I, I don't think this was like for me, but like I eat hot food. Yeah, yeah. I think this was perfect. This is some of the most perfect hot sauce. I'm gonna turn that into a GIF. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Guys, food smashed. Very, very delicious. Uh, don't forget to like this video, it helps a lot. We have new videos every single weekday, every single morning on those weekdays. New episodes go live, you can watch this. Very excited for Solo Sam. You probably saw we got a brand new Sixer style shirt out to Patreon members only. It's not open to everybody, you gotta wait till next week, so people are gonna snag up those sizes. So if you want the brand new Sixer style shirt, we got the big one on the torso, we got the chest version, and we even got women's cut shirts this time for the very first time, because you ladies are sick of wearing these baggy ass clothes, dude, I get it. So uh, go over there on Patreon, uh, you can sign up and snag one early if you'd like to, or all members can get it now. Go over, snag it, and uh, that thing will be in your possession next week. Let's go ahead and rate the food. Uh, out of five, Principles to Die By album covers. Ooh. How many Principles to Die By album covers, Corey, do you give your bento box beef short rib from H Mart? Take it away. I thought it was delicious. I'm really impressed by the price. Huh? What was it, like, what, 11, 10, 12 bucks, something like that? I think this was $20. <laughs> really? Oh, that's more than I expected. I think. I thought it said it was like. Yeah, I was gonna say this is really good for the price, <laughs> but no, it's just like, yeah, that's about what you should get for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, was gonna, I was about to be like, that's a lot of food for yeah. twelve yeah. bucks. Yeah. Yeah. But for seventeen bucks, that's like that's about the right amount of yeah, food. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what I do like about it though is the um, like variety of food. You get a whole lot of everything. Mm -hmm. You get really, really good short ribs. They're super flavorful. The noodles will noodles were super flavorful. Um, everything was really good. I'm gonna give it. I also like the experience of that grocery store because it was so different and unique compared to everything else in Chicago. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a 3.75. Mr. Sam, what do you give yours with chicken? Take it away. Um, I'm gonna give it a four. Ooh, Ooh okay. A, a solid four, you know. Yeah. I always uh, appreciate H Mart. You know, they're they're a great place. You know, if you hit it up, you know, to get you some Korean cuisine. 
you guys know me, I like a lot of different bites of a lot of different things. So bento boxes for me, like, I wish I could get a bento box concept everywhere I ate for $20. Like, even if I go to Burger King, give me like a half a sandwich of, of a burger, give me a little bit of chicken sandwich, give me some nuggets, give me some fries, give me a little, like, this is like the Asian appetizer yeah, like uh, sampler. Four. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, four for four. Yeah. <laughs> but I want it in a box, Sam. <laughs> but uh, I, so I really like this. I like when when I go to a place that has like food that I don't get a ton. I love to try a lot of it, and this solved that. I got I got noodles. I got rice. I got a salad. I got beef. I wish there was a little more short rib for the price. Mm -hmm. I will say that I kind of finished that way too quickly. Yeah. And then I had just a lot of rice. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought the uh, dumplings were incredible. So so good. I'm gonna go four point two five. Wow. I genuinely really really enjoyed this, and I think for about twenty bucks, I think. That's, that's good. I mean, I would like some more meat, but you know, I'm a meat boy. Dude, Sam, thanks for being back on the show. Uh, obviously, the album. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's kind of like I'm I'm performing and you're at my concert. Right? No, guys, throw them up! Don't yeah. people don't yell that, do they? No, um, I don't think so. No, they don't. <laughs> new album out, links below. New web series, new show. And that on one, YouTube. you guys Principles need to check. To die by. <clears throat> check out the album Principles to Die By as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I add Solo Sam, you know, just Solo Sam on YouTube. All of his links are below, so it's easy to get in touch with him. And uh, go check out all of his stuff. Thanks for doing this. And if you want to see the experience of that album release for the vlog, we got the vlog on the Corey channel. It yeah. really was not one of the best experiences I've been to in Chicago. It was amazing. Absolutely. A lot of Soul Sam stuff you can go watch. There is. And yeah. listen yep. to. Yeah. Um, but thanks for being here. We love you and um, we'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Do I get out? Oh, we actually have a, uh, an ejector seat that I installed. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, all right, he walks home now. He's, He's done. done. But the pieces in a puzzle jigsaw. Just to see my nigga smile hard. Good time, my friend. I'll see you. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for the sauce. Yeah, man. Enjoy, man. Black. Thanks for our first H Mart experience. <laughs> see you later, bro. Just the best guy. Such a good dude.